In this video I will show you how to install Debian 12 with the Cinnamon desktop and give you a quick start guide for a nice looking and fully functional Debian Linux. This video is for Debian beginners which all already have installed the one or other Linux distribution. Let's start. At first let us head over to debian.org. There you can download your operating system. You have to click on this link and you also need to create obviously an USB stick for installing Debian on your PC. You can do this with balinaetcher.io. I put you both links into the video description. After that start from your USB stick and you will see a Debian 12 menu which is looking like this. I start the graphical install and here you can choose your language and select continue. Also you can select your location. I'm located in Germany. Now I can configure the locales. I'm going with the locales from the United Kingdom and after that I can choose the keyboard settings and I'm going with the German keyboard setting in my case and I select continue. Afterwards the Debian installer loads some parts of software and is connecting with the internet automatically. Now you can define a host name for your computer, how others see your computer. I'm choosing here Debian 12 but you can define a name whatever you want. I select continue. You don't have to configure any network here so I select continue. Now you can choose a root password if you want. If you choose a root password here sudo won't be available for your main account. I want to use sudo as in other operating systems like in Ubuntu or Linux Mint so I'm keeping these both blank and select continue. Afterwards I can select the full name for the new user. In my case this is Jean. I select continue as a default and select continue. Now I can choose my password for my normal user and verify it and continue again. Afterwards we are asked for our partitioning. In my case I use guided use the entire disk. I don't recommend you use the entire disk and set up encrypted LVM because then it's very hard to repartition your system again. If you want to use encrypted disks I will upload in the future a video about it and put you a link into the video description. So I select continue here and select my hard disk where it's gonna be installed. I select continue and I personally recommend you all files in one partition but others want it with a separate home partition. I personally have my separate data partition so I don't need any separate home partition regular. Choose it to your needs. If you don't know keep it in the first place and select continue. Now Debian partitioned our system automatically. This looks good for me and I select finish partitioning and write changes to disks. I select yes here and select continue. After this step all data of the hard drive is lost because I selected guided use the entire disk. If you used guided install next to Windows 11 for example then of course the windows won't be deleted. But it is always good to have a backup of your data if something goes wrong. So I select continue here and now the base system is installed. Perfect. Now I can configure the package manager. If you have an extra installation media just mount it and select yes. But normally you would select no in this question here. After that I am configuring my package manager. I'm selecting the country where I live. I select continue and select a mirror in a city from my preference. After that I select continue. Now you can define a HTTP proxy. Normally you don't have anything so you can select continue here. Now the package manager apt is configuring and Debian is installing the first software. Now there's a question for the popularity contest. If you want to send basic information about your system to the Debian project select yes here otherwise keep it to no. I select continue and now we can select the software we want to install on our Debian 12. I'm going with the Cinnamon desktop in this case. I'm personally using Debian 12 with Cinnamon 
which I like very much. So I'm deselecting GNOME here. But you can select the desktop you want. This video is with Cinnamon and my personal recommendation. After that, I'm selecting continue. And now Debian 12 is installing the software, which takes a bit time. Now in the end, we want to install the grub bootloader. So I keep it in yes here and select continue in the end. Now I can select the location for the bootloader installation. I'm selecting dev SDA in my case and select continue. After that, the installation of Debian 12 is finishing. Now our installation is complete. So I select continue to reboot. After that, Debian is starting at first time and it is booting automatically. I type in my username, which is written in small letters and typing in my password. Now we have to configure our system. At first, I'm opening my Firefox web browser, which is pre-installed. And I am doing the first steps with Linux Assistant, which is an app I developed myself, which is complete which is complete open source and free. I put you the link into the video description. I select download.deb and open up the file manager with the file in here and double click the deb file and select install package, type in my password and after some time the Linux assistant is installed. Perfect, I can close the windows here and open up the Linux assistant, which we have here. I select next. My recognized system is correct. So I select yes. And now I can configure Linux assistant to open faster. I select yes, set up hotkey. And let's start a second time. As a first step, Linux assistant wants to set up Flatpak. Flatpak is a containerized application format with it, you can install a great variety of software, which is completely up to date. I recommend it to you. So I select set up Flatpak, type in my password, and now it is setting up Flatpak. You can see the commands down here. After that, I select next, and now we can configure our browsers. In my case, this is okay. At the next step, I can configure the Office software, which is also okay and the communication software which is also okay for me at this time and now i'm selecting automatic configuration which is now the interesting part i can update the system to the latest version i can install multimedia codecs automatic snapshots and configure automatic updates of the update manager i'm selecting next here and now I'm typing in my password, select authenticate, and now you see all commands which are executed. While the Linux assistant is doing the technical part, we have to overwork the visual part of Debian Cinnamon. So I'm searching for white sir light. I put you the link into the video description and select download here and select white sir light tar x set. I'm selecting download here and after that, I want to download another wallpaper. I'm doing this on unsplash.com, select wallpapers here. And I'm personally going with the picture from Ryan Kim here. Download it. I put you the link into the video description. Now we have everything downloaded. Let head us over to our file manager here and activate the to list mode with F3. On the left side, I'm right clicking the right sir light theme and select extract here. Now we have a right sir light folder with the index.theme file. On the right side, I'm heading over to my home folder. I'm pressing Ctrl H to show the hidden files and folders and add a new folder, which is called dot themes. I'm opening up this folder and move the right sir light folder into the themes folder here. I'm heading back to home and go to pictures. Here I move the picture from unsplash.com into this folder and right click this picture and select set as wallpaper. Perfect. Now we have a very nice wallpaper and let us head over to our Linux assistant, which completed all automatic actions. I select next and select let's start. Now I also have to install a nice icon theme 
Debian comes with many icon themes and I'm choosing the Papyrus icon theme now. So I search for Papyrus and here we see the Papyrus icon theme. I select it, type in my password and it is installing it. This takes some minutes. As an alternative, you can obviously install the Papyrus icon theme by terminal command or on your software center, which comes pre-installed on Debian Cinnamon. Perfect. After some time, the icon theme is installed. After that, I'm opening on my menu the themes app here, which comes with Cinnamon and I select on applications, the white Sir light theme on icons, Papyrus and on desktop, also the white Sir light theme. And now we have a very nice taskbar here. In my case, the panel is a bit too light. So I select the panel settings here. In my case, the taskbar is a bit too light. So I want to install an cinnamon extension. I search for extensions in the menu, open it up, select download and select transparent panels. I download it here, head over to manage and select the plus sign here. Now this is available and added and which looks quite nice. If you want, you can choose the type of the transparency, for example, semi-transparent and now you can see the icons a bit more better. Otherwise, select with shadow, which is quite looking nice. Okay, perfect. Now I'm closing the extensions here and we have a nice cinnamon desktop on our Debian system. Now in the end, let us log out for a moment and we see a very uncomfortable login screen. So I'm logging in back again and in the Linux assistant, I'm searching for light dm dash settings. Here we have install light dm dash settings. I'm installing it with my password. This also installs the light dm slick greeter we have also here. So perfect. In the end, let us close our Linux assistant and open our login window settings here. I'm typing in my password and up here I'm selecting users and deselect hide the user list. Perfect. This is okay for me. And now after a clean restart, we have a very nice login screen, which is completely okay for me. And I'm typing in my password, log in back again. And now we have a very nice Debian system, which you can now start to use. I personally recommend you to right click in the internet, Firefox ESR, add it to the panel, also add Thunderbird to the panel and in Office, the LibreOffice Start Center. So perfect. Now I'm adjusting everything here, unpin the terminal from the panel and now I would start to use this system. I hope I could help you with this video. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to this YouTube channel and see you next time. Bye.